Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com today showing you how to download your Google accounts including and probably especially Gmail which would be the most common one that people want to download to back their data up but you can actually do everything from here so as always in the background you can see I have our guide the video will be embedded right about here as soon as I'm done and you can follow along here if you like if the video moves a little too fast and we have screenshots and everything so we're going to start with Gmail open and you want to click right here on your account you can go to either privacy or Google account as you can see they're worded a little differently exporting and deleting or manage data and personalization then you can see download your data or export your data so let's get back over there and let's go to say Google account wait for that to load up there's your data and personalization right here and now you gotta scroll way down download your data one of the easier things to do here is to figure which data you want so unless you have or want to download everything deselect everything right here and then check what you want because you could end up with a very very large archive if you decide to grab everything so once again we're gonna go for mail but as we do take note here to the side this doesn't matter much but if there's a second button here I'll show you it says uh, that means there's more options so you can click on all calendars included if you had multiple calendars you could back up only one calendar just so you have a general idea and again remember that here's Chrome so when you see the second button light up that means you have more options you can look at so let's go down to mail which is actually under mail mail there it is so we'll check mail and as mentioned all mail data included now becomes highlightable and you can decide exactly what you want let's say I just want to keep I'm gonna make it a small archive my inbox which is I think is empty and once you go through everything and check what you want just click OK once everything's done you'll come down here to the very bottom and hit next step now you can choose how you want it email or if you have a drive Dropbox OneDrive or box account you can have it sent right to there one-time archive or another neat little feature is if you want to do this on a regular basis you can click this button here and you can have every two months for a year six total archives sent to you automatically so that's a nice feature if you want to back up on a regular basis or maybe you forget to back up so at least you have it and once you're done everything will be saved for I think two weeks then you can pick zip or TGZ which is for Linux users one of you is watching I know you are and the archive size so take note if it's a huge as I mentioned you download a lot of stuff if you go to a larger size over the 2 gig for 1050 it's going to come in multiple files so click create archive and you'll receive an email you'll see this pop up with the number one there it is when it's done and of course how long it takes depends on how much you back up and as you can see I've been playing around I've done it a few times mostly to make sure this video is done correctly and as you can see everything is available this is seven days so actually it's available for a week not two weeks so if you have a smartphone and your Gmail is on there you'll also get a notification there you will also get a notification on your backup email account for security purposes in case somebody else is using your account so you can expect two emails one will be that your archive has been requested as you can see here and the other one is that your Google data archive is now ready so there you go that's pretty much as simple as it is to back up everything on Google so again just keep in mind just because we did focus on Gmail only because I can't spend the time to go through 40 different uh, settings just remember to check that box and look for the second one some of these first ones might let you change but I haven't seen any that do yet in other words see it says HTML format so I'm thinking well can I click on it and get it in text so far I haven't seen any of these on the left side that let you change anything as you can see so I haven't found a single one that's worth checking on this side so just watch this side so you make sure you download what you need and don't bother downloading too much it could take you a long time to both have Google archive it and for you to download it and the amount of space that you use on your computer so there you go pretty simple to do right once again I will link to this article 
with all the screenshots and the video embedded so that you can follow step by step if that helps you. And that's about it. So as always, we'd like to thank you for all the new likes, all the new subscribes. It's pretty awesome. And um, yeah, we'll see you next time.